you've clicked on this video, it's probably because you're having some issues with your Rift S, namely the tracking of your controllers or because your headset just turns off or the screen turns off. So I'm going to start off with solutions to these problems and then I'm going to explain the reasoning behind them afterwards just in case you want to do the fixes first in case you're impatient or whatever as I was whenever I was encountering these issues. So number one, if your headset is just turning off or whatever, make sure that the Par make sure the cables are actually seated properly. So obviously, I'm sure most people check this, make sure the display port and the USB 3 port are properly connected to your computer. So make sure they're actually right in there, they're not just hanging loose or whatever. And that's pretty obvious. But the second one is that the cable is actually detachable from your headset. So you can actually take the cable out of your headset. I thought initially it was hardwired in, but it actually can come loose. So make sure that you push it in there and make sure it's just not came out a wee bit and just ensure that. The second thing is if you go to control panel on your computer in the search menu, you go to power options, you go to whatever power plan that you have, go to change plan settings, go to advanced power settings, go to USB settings, the USB select to suspend setting, make sure it's disabled. And secondly, if you go back to control panel and you go to device manager, make sure that you go through each and every one of your USB ports listed here and update the driver if you can. So the name should change. If it is a different driver, the name will change from Realtek USB to whatever your processor is or something like that. And it should change the name and that should fix some of your issues. The reason behind all these fixes is with the resetting of the cable, it is very easy if you're playing Beat Saber or an abandoned game where you're very active, it's very easy for the cables to become loose from either your computer or your headset. You might be pulling in the cable a bit, it might come loose, but a lot of people don't know that the cable to the, your actual Rift S can come out of your Rift S. I, as I say, initially thought it was hardwired until I watched a video and someone said, yeah, just push the cable in. And mine, mine wasn't loose, bear in mind. But I know a lot of people have said, yeah, this actually fixed my issue. So it could just be that your cable's loose. However, that'll fix the screen turning off and your headset turning off issues, as opposed to the camera issue where your camera will turn off or go static. The other two options are for different sort of issues. So the power option, where you disable the power management for your USB ports, is to fix both the headset turning off and also to fix the static in your cameras because as far as I can tell if your Rift S doesn't get enough power to the headset itself it will cause the cameras to turn off. The first point to go in your headset for some reason is the cameras and of course that's the most crucial part because that affects all the tracking but it doesn't turn it back on whenever you lose power or whenever you have a dip in power. So the power management settings, if it's enabled, will manage the power to your USB ports. I assume, because if you're using USB stick, you plug it in, you do whatever in USB stick, you leave it plugged in and don't use it for half an hour, say, your computer might say, if you haven't used USB in like half an hour, I'm gonna turn it off or I'm gonna reduce power to it. So it still detects that the USB port's there and it still detects that the USB stick is plugged in, but until you actually click on it or you open File Explorer, it won't provide full power to it. So as far as I know, that's what it does. And for some reason, it still manages the, it manages the Rift S's port, even though there should be constant data and constant power going to the Rift S at all times. So I don't know why it does it, but that is one thing which can both turn off the headset and also turn off the cameras. The last one where you update your USB ports is exclusively for the camera issue because it's what fixed my issue. My issue was that the cameras were turning off and I had no idea why. The cameras were turning off, my, ca my controllers were just floating in midair. I could rotate them but they wouldn't move and I could also go into the past few plus menu, mode, feature, whatever, and my cameras would be pure static, I couldn't see my room. So the fix for this is just update your drivers. It fixed my issues, however, it doesn't fix all occurrences of the staticky camera issue. Your cameras basically turn off whenever there's not enough power going to the headset, which is fixed by the solutions that I've given. However, it will also do it if you're taking the headset on and off multiple times. 
As far as I can tell, the, the headset goes into sort of like semi-standby mode whenever you take the headset off your face. So the screen will turn off, it'll stop tracking, and it'll still send output to your computer. So it'll still say, oh, I'm here, or whatever. But then it just kind of turns off, turns back on, turns off, turns back on. Because you'll see if you're using Beat Saber and you've got the game actually open and you're looking at whatever your headset's saying, it'll actually kind of have a wee episode where <laughs> you'll be sitting the you be sitting there, the headset will be on your table, and suddenly you'll get tracking back and you see exactly what your headset's saying, then it'll just turn off again. Then it'll turn back on, turn up back, back off again. So if you're taking the headset back on and off your head multiple times, it just it's essentially going to start in standby multiple times in a row. Which if you know by using like a computer, if you put your computer into standby instead of turning it off, it causes performance issues. It's better to just turn it off completely and then turn it back on completely instead of turning into hibernation or standby. I think it's a similar issue with the Rift S, but it happens in a much short in a much shorter time span. So the solution to this, unfortunately, is just unplugging the headset completely whenever it happens. That's the only real remedy to it. However, updating the USB drivers fixed like ninety nine percent of all of the issues that I had with the Rift S in terms of the cameras turning off. The only cause left for me is if I've got friends around or if for whatever reason I'm taking the headset off and putting it back on multiple times in one play session, it has a chance of causing the headset to just have an episode where the cameras just turn off. So I think it's an issue with the standby mode, however I can't confirm that, but I do know that updating the USB drivers did fix my issues. And it does still happen when you're taking the headset off and on, but when you're just playing Beat Saber, you won't lose tracking anymore. Or if you're playing a normal VR game, whatever, it you just won't lose track anymore because your camera's turning off. It won't happen because the cameras won't turn off. Because I think the USB drivers that you update to, I think they're provided by Oculus, or at least by your processor, and it will provide constant power. If that doesn't work, you can also get a USB 3.0 hub which is powered by a socket on your wall and is connected to your computer via a USB 3 port. And you can use that and it should work as well. However, I would try this first because it's free and it doesn't cost you any money. So I would try that and if it doesn't work, the USB 3.0 hub might work. And if it doesn't work, let me know and I will try and find another solution. I might not be able to, but I'll try. So anyway, that's it. So I hope this helped. And yeah, uh, bye.